Hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyra and I make videos all about small space living, Chicago, Trader Joe's. It's a great time. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today we have another Trader Joe's haul for you. It is the 9th of November today and Trader Joe's is getting in a lot more of their like holiday stuff past like the Halloween and Thanksgiving. They're starting to get more into like the Christmas and chocolate and peppermint kind of era. So they had some of their holiday stuff come in that I had to snag because everything is flying off the shelves in Trader Joe's. It is insane. I got a bunch of their seasonal stuff for you today to show you. Some of the stuff I've had before and I really, really love and some of it is brand new, so I'm excited to try those out as well. Let's jump into it. All right, first thing I got, these are new. I have not tried these before, but these are the cauliflower crisp snacks. I feel like Trader Joe's is just making every single product into a cauliflower product, which like, I don't hate it. But these are cauliflower, brown rice, tapioca starch, coconut milk, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, mustard powder, sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder. For 12 crisps, it is 180 calories, and I want to try them now. I will say there is like, that much of the bag is empty. Mmm, they're tasty though. Oh, those are really good. Mm -hmm. Expensive for the quantity, but delicious. Next, I really tried to resist buying these, but I was hungry when I went in this morning and I got them anyways. These are the Thanksgiving stuffing seasoned kettle chips. I'm trying these two right now. Whoa, so weird, but so good. These literally taste like a Thanksgiving meal in your mouth. Like you can taste like the stuffing in the turkey and it's on a potato chip, so like mashed potatoes. So weird. Also so good, I really like those. I'm gonna have to try really hard to not eat the whole bag. Next, I got a dozen eggs. I get these every single week. I feel like I should get that written on a shirt. Like, I also got a dozen eggs this week. Then, I also got, this is one of my favorite things. This is the candy cane peppermint green tea. It is so good. Peppermint tea and like, tastes like a little bit sweet at the same time without having any added sugar or anything in it. It's also caffeine free, which I love because I'll drink it at nighttime, but peppermint, green tea, orange peel, natural mint flavors, cinnamon, milk thistle, blackberry leaves, roasted carob, roasted chicory, and vanilla bean. This tea is so, so good. I actually got two packs of this because I'm seeing my mom later this month and I'm gonna bring her a box of it as well. I am making a curry meatball noodle soup tonight. It's kind of a take off of like a laksa soup, which is like a salad. Asian noodley soup. I'm making that tonight. I think I'm probably gonna show that recipe at the end of this video, but one of the ingredients for that was green onions. So I got green onions. This pack was $1.29 and there's eight green onions in this. Like I feel like that was a really good price. I also love green onions, pumped about that. I can put them in anything and it still tastes delicious. Also got a bag of baby spinach. This is also for the soup tonight, so that will be in that recipe as well. I got a bag of baby arugula. That's what I'm gonna use to do salads and stuff throughout the week. I love keeping like bag of greens on hand because it just makes it really easy to throw something together that's a little bit healthier because I ate like garbage all weekend this weekend. This week I also got the sesame crunch salad kit. I've showed this before. I really like the salad kit. I love Trader Joe's salad kits in general, but because they are very dense and usually cabbage heavy, I love mixing them with something like an arugula just to kind of lighten it up a little bit because this is a lot for me. It also just makes the salad bigger without adding anything to it except for like another leafy green. I also got the Harvest Apple Salad Kit. I had this one for the first time a couple weeks ago and it was really good. I really liked this salad. So I'm excited to have this one again. I also think it's seasonal. I've never seen it until like this fall. So I wanted to grab that one before it's like completely gone. Also got a thing of cilantro. This is for my recipe tonight as well. It needed cilantro. I thought it was funny that it came in this little bag, but here we are. Also got two things of ground turkey. One of these, the recipe actually called for ground chicken, but Trader Joe's doesn't sell ground chicken, which is weird, whatever. But one of these I'm going to use for the meatballs in my soup tonight. And then the second one is I'm gonna make chili this week. And so I use ground turkey instead of ground beef in chili as well. I got Alex two packs of burritos this week. The first one is the chicken chili verde burrito. And then I also just got him the plain chicken burrito. I don't think he notices a difference between the burritos, but I feel like if I mix it up a little bit, then he won't get sick of them for longer. I haven't tested this theory. All right, this one is definitely seasonal and I've had it before and I liked it, so I got it again. This is the turkey and stuffing en croute, which basically is turkey tenderloin wrapped in cornbread stuffing and puff pastry. And it also includes gravy and cranberry sauce packets. I got this last year and I made Alex and I like a Thanksgiving meal. Look, it's not the same as your mama's Thanksgiving dinner. It's not. 
but for two people and for this price like i thought it was really delicious and it was so easy to make and then it was just like a really easy thanksgiving for us to share just the two of us if you are not in a huge family and you're not going and seeing family this year for thanksgiving and you want a simple thanksgiving meal i highly recommend this i did really like it last year i also got a sweet potato this is for the soup tonight as well for the chili i grabbed a couple different cans so i got one can of black beans i got a can of corn can of organic kidney beans and then a can of diced tomatoes so these will be what i throw in the chili i love making chili because it is something that i feel like i can just back clean up my entire kitchen and so any vegetables that i have left over in the fridge from like last week i can chop those up really finely and throw those in the chili and once you just like slow cook it for forever everything just comes together and gets so tasty so i have like carrots and celery and onions and like i don't even know what else in there but it'll make its way into the chili also for my recipe tonight i got a thing of shallots and a thing of fresh ginger Pro tip, if you're using fresh ginger, put it in your freezer and then whenever you need to use it, just take it out frozen and use it on a cheese grater. That makes it so much easier to do than chopping up the ginger and it just makes it way more fine and you get so much more of the flavor out of it. And then because you're freezing it, it stays good for forever. Also just got another thing of egg whites. I always mix these with our eggs whenever I make them, so that's always in my haul. And these last four items are all new, I think. This one might not be new, but I've never seen it before, or if I have, I just never paid attention. But I got this giant thing of olive oil, and it's extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed, but what really got me was A, I left this bottle, and B, it came with a pour top. So this will be great because I can just leave this in my cabinet with the pour top on it, and then once it's out of olive oil, I can just refill this bottle and continue using the top. So I thought this was cool. Also, it was like a dollar more than the normal olive oil that I buy, so I thought, why not mix it up this time? All right, this item is not new, but I haven't tried this in a couple years, so I wonder if I like it, but fingers crossed I do. But this is the gingerbread coffee. This is ground coffee spiced with ginger, cinnamon, and cloves. I've said it before, but I love Trader Joe's seasonal coffees because they aren't sweet. This is literally ground coffee, dried ginger root, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and cloves. It gives it lots of flavor without having like that artificialness that you'd get at like a Dunkin' Donuts or something. So this just sounds like it's gonna be amazing and cozy, and I love that. Also, this was in last year and I got it then too, and that is the almond nog. I honestly am not a huge eggnog fan in general, but this is like so holiday-y, and I thought it would be really good to use as a creamer in my coffee. I might highly regret this decision and it might be really gross, but I wanna try and put it in my milk frother, also because they no longer sell the maple oat milk, which made me wanna cry a little bit because that one was seasonal, but I thought I'd give this a whirl and put this in my milk frother and then drink it with the gingerbread coffee. And I thought that just sounded really yummy and cozy and like seasonal. But even if you don't put it in your coffee, I have had this on its own and it's really good. I can't drink like a whole cup of, I can't drink a whole cup of like any milk to be completely honest, but it is pretty delicious. And for half a cup, it is 50 calories, one and a half grams of fat, nine grams of carbs. If you look at that compared to a regular eggnog, this is way, way better for you. All right, and then the last item I got, Trader Joe's came out with an instant cold brew coffee. And typically, I'm not an instant coffee girl, but instant cold brew, and people have been raving about it. They say it is so good. And all you have to do is add one heaping teaspoon of Trader Joe's instant cold brew coffee to cold water. You don't even have to heat up the water or anything. And it's supposed to be so, so good. We are running out of our cold brew we have right now, so I thought we would try this. I wanna see it, I'm excited. How do you make it? You literally take a spoonful of that and put it in cold water. In cold water? Do yeah. you mix it in like it's like uh -huh. vitamin C or something? Uh-huh. It's supposed to be really good. We'll see. I'll let you know. That is everything for my haul today. I'm going to be making that recipe, so I highly recommend you stick around because it's going to be so delicious, and I'm very, very excited. I'll be back tonight. All right, let's cook dinner. All right, so I'm going to read out the ingredients because not everything was in my haul today, and then also not everything was something I was able to get from Trader Joe's, which I hate. I hate not being able to be loyal. I also hate going into every other grocery store store because it took me 20 minutes to pick out what noodles I was going to put in because there's too many options and that does not work well for me. Pound of ground turkey, green onions, soy sauce, black pepper, olive oil, sweet potato, shallots, ginger, cilantro, high red curry paste, full fat coconut milk, peanut butter, fish sauce, baby spinach, egg or rice noodles, and that's it. So really all of this stuff you could get from Trader Joe's. I don't think they had red curry paste but they do have a red curry simmer sauce. If you wanted to do this like exactly, you would need red curry paste. I know you don't want to listen to me talk. You just want to see what I cook. Let's go. Looking from your telescope. Take me on this journey home. I don't want to wait no Let me turn behind the moon. Tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't want to wait no more. We could be 
dancing in the stars We could be floating all the way As long as I'm safely in your arms And it don't really matter where we stay Don't ask me Space makes me sad Cause I wish you guys could smell this. Seriously, it is heavenly. Ooh, I love it. That's good. It's good. All right, guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. This one's a little bit different, a mix of a Trader Joe's and a cooking video all in one. If you don't already, go over and follow me on my Instagram. I post tons of content all about food, Chicago, all sorts of fun stuff over there as well. And if you haven't, please hit that big red subscribe button. Your guys' support means so much to me. Also, I'm just gonna throw this out right here. I'm thinking I'm gonna start live streaming once a week, me cooking dinner, and it'll be like a fun little segment where you can get the same Trader Joe's items that I got and you can cook with me. Let me know what you think about that. If you've made this far in the video you obviously are very loyal and i love you very much thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time look up from your telescope take me on this journey home i don't want to wait no